I don't think this is nearly as traumatic as it is for the people that are on the front lines of this. You know, we're in no way inconvenienced by this. We understand that it's terrible. But they delivered a second truck and the hospital CEO came and asked if there was anything he could do. It made every effort to cover it, um, which has been nice. I mean, there's still a lot of people in the street gawking and taking photos, but we're on the third floor, so there's really not much you can do. We have a bird's eye view. Oh, no, no, this is, we're barely at the beginning of this. We're watching them build racks to store the bodies inside the truck because they need that much storage. They've delivered a second truck. These have a large capacity, so they must be fitting, I don't know, I would guesstimate about 100 bodies. We see it and we're like, this is very serious. This is very real. And, you know, we're seeing so much chaos manifest outside of our home that we can't imagine how bad it is inside. Um, you know, we stopped counting how many bodies came out. 